Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Trip, and welcome to the game according to me. We've got um, some good stuff from this past weekend. A legend retires, and we'll see what else we need to talk about. Um, but before that, I do, obviously today, is the inauguration of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And I just want to speak on this just a little bit. This is obviously not, you know, a politics podcast. I'm not going to get deep, too deep into it. But what I do want to tell everybody is that whether you voted for Joe or you didn't, um, these acts for unity. And yes, we have different ways of looking at the world. You know, abortion, guns, taxes, how to govern many, many different ways of how to, how we look at the world. But that, and while that determines on what side of the aisle we, we, you know, we live on, that shouldn't be the, that shouldn't determine on how we choose to live with each other and how we choose to respect each other and how we and how we choose to be towards one another this should, i hope this is the start of the unification of back of bringing the united states back to being united we will always have differences we will always see things differently i have no doubt about that but hopefully we can get back to the point where no matter what it is, we, 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 we look we, we sit on the aisle on it. No matter what topic, no matter what discussion, no matter what. That we come together as one and just say at the very least that we are Americans. And we look at this hopefully as being the day to where we can get back to being just that. And that's Americans. Not Democrats, not Republicans, not black people, not white people. Just Americans. Now, let's get back to what you came here for, and that's sports. So let's start with this weekend's divisional round. Um, Saturday, the first game, the Rams and the Packers. Um, it was kind of close for a little while there. The Packers at the end took a, took advantage of the uh, Rams. I just think, you know, the Packers are just, you know, they are loaded for bear. And they've got home field advantage. They've got, you know, they've had home field advantage in the past, but they've lost it in the first round. But now here we are. They've got home field advantage throughout. They've got the NFC Championship game in their place. And, um... It wasn't cold enough to where it would it the, it would affect the Rams. I just think the Packers were just a better team than the Rams, and and that's that's just the way it is. Andrew, Aaron Donald was hurt, so I you know I don't think he could have been as effective as he possibly could have been, and he was very emotional on the sidelines. So I can maybe understand why, you know, you know maybe you get that feeling of you know you know can we get to the Super Bowl with this team? And I think you can. I don't think they. Listen, I, I think Jared Goff is a good enough quarterback. Maybe he may not be the quarterback needed for Sean McVay. Because, listen, let's, let's face it, we, we can be very honest here. Jared Goff has definitely regressed from when he went to the Super Bowl. The year that he went to the Super Bowl. And he may be just, you know, just, you know, he may not be just, you know, my cat is screaming. What do you, you what? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry for the distraction. Um, like I was saying, you know, Jared Goff just may be just what it is. You know, I, I, I you know, uh, Sean McVay made a thing that for, that he is the quarterback of the Rams for now. So, that's what it is. I, I think that, you know, 
They can get back there. They got enough talent. And I just think Jared Goff, you know, he can't turn the ball over. I think that's what it is. I think this, you know, they gave Jared Goff a big, big time contract. And so we'll have to see. I'm going to guess that this upcoming season, the 2021 season, could be, you know, one of those seasons where it's make and break for Jared Goff. Do you go back to a couple years ago? Do you go back to that player who a couple years ago took the Rams to the Super Bowl? Or are you going to continue to be this this quarterback that is, you know, iffy and, and things like that? And I, and I would say this. Not all, not all quarterbacks, and I, I, I did a podcast about this. Not all quarterbacks can be Patrick Mahomes and be Aaron Rodgers, and where they're virtually perfect each and every week. And the days that they're, and the times that they're not perfect are few and far between. That's not going to be. Jared Goff is a good enough quarterback. To where he, you know, he can, I, I think he can be a franchise quarterback, you know. But Sean McVay just may, they may think that it just may not be with, with them. And that's, I guess that's totally okay. So the Rams, Packers beat the Rams 32-18. They're going on to, again, like I said, host the NFC Championship game. Later on that night, the Bills and the Ravens played. The Bills took out the Ravens 17-3. Um... Again, once again, the thing coming away from that game is that, once again, we're talking about someone who regressed. Lamar Jackson has regressed from last year. Last year's MVP. This year, he's, he is, you know, he, he's still running the ball as effective as ever. But he's, you know, from the passing game, he just, you know, he hasn't been the same. And, and obviously, that's, that's a total thing. And he needs to get better. And, he, and the wide receiver said it. Hollywood Brown, he said it. They need to get better from the passing game, and it's and it's cool, and it's good to have a it's good to have a running game, but it's not it's not good to just rely on that running game, well, especially when you can't do nothing from the passing game. You know, it, you know this is not you know Tennessee, you know Tennessee they rely on the running game, they rely on Derrick Henry, but then they've also trusted Ryan Tannehill to make plays from the pocket, and and to be you know efficient. And that's what he has. And he has been ever since he replaced Marcus Mariota a couple of years ago. So uh, last year, I should say, not a couple of years ago, last year. So, and, and that's what, you know, you know, needs to be Lamar Jackson. Listen, I'm not saying that Lamar Jackson needs to throw for 4,000 yards. I think that would be best, you know, coming to this new, you know, era of, you know, football where you throw, well, if you are a good quarterback, you throw for 4,000 yards. But even if we went back to his, his, Things of last year, he threw thirty six touchdowns. You know, that's you know threw for like thirty six hundred yards, but threw for thirty seven, you know, thirty six touchdowns. That's good. You get right now, do that. You know, and and, and maybe st- no, not rush for a thousand yards. Maybe take, you know, six hundred of those yards and put it into the passing game, and maybe that helps it out. So I I think that that's what the Ravens need to do. You know, and good on Bills Mafia, Lamar Jackson. Got hurt, got a concussion in that uh, uh, game Saturday night. Bills Mafia donated eight dollars, his jersey number to his favorite charity, and uh, it's like it's, it's like almost over four hundred thousand dollars that they've donated so far. So it is it is amazing what Bills Mafia does. They they, they probably are the best fan base um, in this uh, country um, in in all the sports, not just you know football in all the sports. So good on them. Uh, and uh, so now the bill, the Bills moved on to the AFC Championship game, defeating the Ravens, seventeen to three. Um, then comes Sunday, the the the, the, um, the AF the other AFC divisional round game, Browns at the Chiefs. Um, big story here, obviously coming from this is the uh, is the concussion that was given to um, Patrick Mahomes. It's a weird way he he didn't take a blow to the head or. Anything like that, what it looks to have been was was that it was um, the, the way that uh, Max Wilson came around, kind of maybe got him around the neck. Uh, Jace, uh, Jace Glazer on uh, Fox almost said that it was almost like he, get, he had been choked out. So that's why when he got up, he was all groggy and everything like that. So And he, he didn't p- pass. Apparently, he didn't pass the first test. You know, that's why they ruled him out of the game with a concussion. So, um, but Chad Henney did his thing. Uh, he did throw a bad interception that could have put the game away, but 
when they when they got the ball back uh, off of a Cleveland punt, which that, you know that that could be very interesting. That, I think that's going to be a big topic of you know the fumble at the goal line going out of the end zone, you know, for a touchback. It's probably a big topic in Cleveland now. And that that you know that that other drive when they you know punted to uh, to Kansas City and Kansas City ran out the clock. That's probably a big big topic in Cleveland right now. Did you really should you have gone for it? Should you have done different plays on third down? What 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 could you have done? But um, but uh, the run on third and fourteen from Chad Henney to get to the uh to get to get to the uh, marker, make it fourth and inches, and then the play call on fourth fourth and inches from uh Andy Reid. That's incredible. So um, we'll see what happens with Patrick Mahomes. We'll see if he gets better. Uh, a lot of people are hoping for the Patrick Mahomes versus Josh Allen rematch. You know, b- both uh both um. AFC champ, uh, both championship games are rematches from Week Six. Uh, the Chiefs and Bills played in Week Six, and it was one of those games where um, they almost decided, you know, they just obviously they didn't throw the ball all around the field and score many points. They really ran the ball. They ran the ball for you know a lot of yards. So uh, it's one of those things where it, uh, we'll see what happens comes this, this uh, championship game between the Chiefs and the Bills. Uh, I am rooting uh, as much as I love Patrick Mahomes. I'm rooting for the Bills because it is their time. Let's just get let's let let's get one for Bills Mafia. Let's get one for for Jim Kelly and Andre Reid and Thurman Thomas and all those folks. Let's get one from them. I will be rooting for them uh, to win and uh, to go all the way. And finally, um, the last one Sunday uh, evening: Buccaneers at the Saints. Tom Brady making his. 14th championship game uh, appearance. Incredible. Uh, Drew Brees could have been his last game through four interceptions. Not the way you wanted to go out. Um, we'll see what happens with Drew uh, in the next couple of weeks. He's going to take some time. But I mean, the Buccaneers, they came they came ready to play. Uh, good on them. Saints, I'm sure the Saints, they just outplayed the Saints. You know, it, it, it's uh, one of the false narratives is that we is that you know when you play a team twice and then you play it the third time and you beat them twice in the regular season then you play them that third time in the uh, in the playoffs it's just false narrative that is 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 that it's it's a lot different it's a lot, it's a lot harder to to beat teams three times but apparently it actually isn't because before you know today. It was twelve times that it that that had happened where a team had beat a team twice in the regular season and then met again for the third time in the playoffs. And nine out of those twelve times, the team <laughs> the team who won twice had won the third time. So really, it only it only been three times when the the, the other team, the team that lost two in the regular season, won. This made uh, the fourth team with Buc- Buccaneers beating the Saints. So now here we are. We got a championship. Game Sunday at 3:05. We got the Buccaneers at the Packers. Brady versus Rodgers. Uh, see if Tom Brady can get to a Super Bowl in the NFC. Uh, and can Aaron Rodgers make the Super Bowl for the second time? And then we got the AFC game. We got the Bears and the Chiefs. Chiefs third consecutive time in the championship game at home. Uh, only other team to do that was the Eagles, and they did it under Andy Reid. Another another reason why Andy Reid is going to be one of the great coaches of all time. And then of course we get these upstart Bills coming back. First time the the, the in the championship game. The last time they played in a championship game, guess who they played? The Chiefs. And they played, and that was when Joe Montana was there. So, mm, right? What about this? So, <laughs> you know that that's something. Just that's something to, to be marveled at. So, yeah, it, it is it's going to be a wild ride, and uh, we'll see what you know, what will happen. Uh, I've already told you that I'm rooting for the Bills. Uh, the, the, the NFC Championship game doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter if it's Brady. It doesn't matter if it's the Aaron Rodgers. Um, uh, I'm going to be rooting for the AFC team no matter what. Patrick Mahomes because he's probably my favorite player right now, and of course, like I mentioned, with you know, um, 
the Bills and the, everything they've gone through. And Josh Allen is almost becoming my, my second favorite player right now, the way he's played this year. So, yeah, that's the only reason I don't, I don't particularly care. If I had to choose a prediction, I'm going to say the Bills and the Packers um, will, will, will win each game. But I'm obviously rooting for the Bills. All right, so we also had some breaking news this morning. Um, Philip Rivers announced his retirement from the National Football League, and it it is it is it is amazing. Um, when it comes down to Philip Rivers, um, just incredible. He now he's an eight-time Pro Bowler. He's a comeback player of the year. He never won MVP or anything like that. Um, made it, never made it to a Super Bowl, came closest uh, in the 2001, I believe, um, or two, yeah, 2001, uh, came closest to the being in the uh, NFC, uh, AFC Championship game, excuse me, um, played 16 years with, um, the Chargers, and then played, um, one year with the Colts. Um, incredible. This guy, when he came out of college, people were talking about his the way he passed the ball, and maybe he would need to change and you know to fit the 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 league. But he he didn't. He came in there, didn't change anything, and he still became one of the all time greats. And some people might look at that and say, well, is he really an all time great? They might look at him, look at his stats, look at look, look at his record. He's um he's one hundred and thirty four. And 136, no ties. Uh, he's uh, 65 completion percentage, basically 63,000 yards, 6340, 440 to be exact. Uh, 421 touchdowns, 209 interceptions, just over a two to one interception ratio, and things like that. So you know, people may look at it and say, "Well, is is he was he really that great? Is he really that great?" And, and I I would say that he I would say that he is. Uh, his highest yards came in 2010. He threw for 47,000 yards, 47,10 to be exact. Um, he threw most touchdowns in the year. He threw 34 um, in 2008. Um, and, yeah, he had some high interception totals. He had 18 in 24. He had 21 in 26. He had 20 in, 20, in 2019. But he, this year he threw 11 uh, with the Colts. So I, I, you know, and I, I really do think you have to look. You know, I, I saw something on TikTok the other night, which really frustrated me to no end. There was some fool that was trying to say that Troy Aikman wasn't, he wasn't a Hall of Famer because his stats didn't didn't line up to with the stats of the people the people around his era. But it, it was, you know, the Hall of Fame. While stats are a part of it. It's not, it's, it's not really everything, you know, when it comes down to it. It's also about how you played the game, you know. There, there's some of the examples that go with it. Troy Aikman won three Super Bowl rings. He was a Super Bowl MVP, and he was a major part of, you know, it just wasn't Emmitt Smith, you know, in Dallas. It He, he had a major part along with Michael Irvin, um, and that's why all three are in, are in, are in the Hall of Fame. Um they become the Philip Philip Rivers, you know. I I I think you know people people are gonna probably say, well, he never made a Super Bowl. Well, dominated by Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and Ben Roethlisberger. Those are the guys, along with one year from Baltimore with Joe Flacco, and last year with um, Patrick Mahomes, and we'll see if Josh Allen makes it this year. But he had to deal with, you know, two all-time greats in Manning and Brady, another Hall of Famer in Ben Roethlisberger, and like I said, he had one, Joe Flacco had one fantastic playoff, playoffs. That's why him and Baltimore made the, made the Super Bowl, and then of course Patrick Mahomes last year and possibly this year as well. You just, you know, you couldn't. You know, it, it was unfortunate. He does. He does. He was dealt a bad hand. He was dealt dealt a bad hand. If 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 you know if 
if, if, if that trade wasn't made in 2004 under draft and e, this was we took, looking at Eli, Eli went to San Diego and Phillip Rivers went to New York, yes, we probably could be seeing that those two Super Bowls that Eli won could be Phillip Rivers. Or you know, even maybe even more the fact that maybe I think I think Philip Rivers is a better quarterback than Eli. We could be saying that maybe he had, you know, a couple more Super Bowl, at least some more Super Bowl appearances. With you know, so it, it's could be everything. But to me, Philip Rivers, I think without a doubt, goes into the Hall of Fame. I don't think he is a guy that you say, well, you have to look at his era of of playing, and that's why he's you know. And that's why he upheld the stats that he did. No, I, I don't think that is. You know, this, he, this is not Vinny Testaverde who played 20 years. You know, this is not, um, you know, this is not Frank Gore from the running back position. You know, who playing years and years. This is not Heinz Ward who played. You know, who who you can look at look at and say, while the stats may look like Hall of Fame worthy, he's not. You know, I don't. That that's not what this is. Philip Rivers is Hall of Fame worthy. I don't know if we're going on the first ballot. Some, some, some even say that doesn't even matter when it comes to football. You're going in on the first ballot. I actually kind of do think it is. It's, it's, it's like, hey, yeah, I have a first ballot Hall of Fame. I think that, I think that does mean something to a lot of people. So, um, but yeah, Philip Rivers, amazing career. Shout out to Phil, and um, I, I hope you are happy. Doing whatever you get to do, Mr. Rivers. It was very fun to watch. Um, and really quick, let's take a look at the Colts. That leaves the Colts with what? Uh, Jacoby Brissett uh, is their backup. They drafted uh, a couple years ago another quarterback. I can't think who that what is. So maybe they go to him. Maybe they try to get someone else. Um, I think Frank Wright is a good teacher in the quarterback position and things like that. So I I think you know and they could they could be signed somebody as well they could they could be in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes if Deshaun Watson decides he doesn't want to stay in 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 uh, uh, in, um, in Houston it'd be also Carson Wentz Jalen Hurts whichever one they decide to keep all of it could be a part of this so um, but it's gonna be interesting to see what the coach do do uh, when it when it comes down to their quarterback position there's another team now. In, this, in, in, in the spot for a quarterback. All right. So next week, it's a big week. We're going to be talking about the Super Bowl. Two participants in the Super Bowl. Who will it be? Who, who, can, who, you know, who can survive? Right? You know, we're going to talk about the AFC Championship games and the NFC Championship games next week. I think next week we'll also get into the coachings because there are obviously people, there were some coaches that were fired, and uh, we're going to get into teams who have made coaching decisions and maybe even some of the GM decisions as well. And uh, with it being the week of the Royal Rumble, maybe we'll talk a little bit about the Royal Rumble as well. Uh, my official predictions will be up Saturday, January 30th. On my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash a triple twenty. So make sure you go over there, you subscribe, you yeah, click the notification bell so that when I upload them, uh, you'll be able to get them as soon as possible. Thank you guys again so much for listening. I appreciate it very much. Uh, make sure you go to AJ Trip. Uh, well, well, make sure you go to patreon.com slash AJ Trip to become a patron. Once I hit a certain amount of patrons, you can have a uh, uh, have a say in what I do on my YouTube channel, or uh, what I talk about here on the podcast, and what game video games I play on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash a triplet twenty. Um, especially with uh, with football season coming coming to an end um, in, a, in a very in a couple of weeks at the Super Bowl, I'm gonna need some some topics to talk about. So make so yeah, make sure you join the Patreon, help a brother out. Or if you just feel like, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a patron. You know, I don't want to sign up for something like that. I, just, you know, I just, I just, I just like what you do, and I want to support you. You can do that as well. Anchor.fm slash Andrew Triplet Show. Right down the page, you can support three tiers. Ninety-nine cents a month, 
$4.99 a month or $9.99 a month. But I, as I always say, you don't have to support me if you don't want to. We live in a strange world right now. I understand that, you know, people don't have the money to do so. And that's totally fine. Also, you know, you're already getting this for free. So why, why I feel the need to pay for it? That's fine, too. You know. I I understand all of that. I'm not one of those people. One of those people that are saying, "Well, come here, come on. I'm I'm doing this. You need you need you you need to. No, you don't need to do anything. I'm just happy that you are listening to this, and I'm just happy that you are supporting me in that way. Because trust me, that's what I do. I I support my, you know, a, a lot of the people I like by listening to their content. Or watching their content on YouTube, or watching them on Twitch, or whatever. I'm not subscribed to anything. I'm not subscribed to any Patreons or anything like that. So I understand. I I don't want to be. A, I'm not trying to come off as hypocritical. So if I'm not doing it. There's no need for you to do it. But I'll give you the option so that if you want to, uh, you can. And I appreciate that so much. No matter either way. Thank you guys so much for listening. It's your boy AJ Trip signing off. As always. Be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.